times nine. Nature, nurture green in spring, in summer, a cascade of color, in fall, leaves dip in change. In winter, she wears snowy ice white. I'm sorry. Oh. Human nature's canvas paints pictures in black and white with biased brush and slaughter-stained palette. Nature soil, fervently fertile, needs only to be seeded. It is our nature, the soil we seed in, not the watering, not the spraying, deadheading, that colors or blights our gardens. Nature, a tonal ears, hears every growl, every roar, every tweet in but one single key. Human nature hears off key words. God gives license to kill. I did and I do. Nature choreographs death and renewal, a pâté de of celebratory steps. Human nature gracelessly, carelessly, hatefully, choreographs steps of death. Nine black dancers, the stage Charleston, their final position still. Attitude silent. The silence only broken by the roar of encore, encore, encore. Beautiful. an ecumenical prayer service. Being a devout doubter, I was unprepared for the wave of feelings that engulfed me at ground zero. The rabbi who spoke eloquently and sang in the key of blessing the memory of those lost. The number of women, the variety of skin tones, the diversity of beliefs, and the symbolism of their attire invoked the hope their words were heard. A nature, I'm sorry, I choose to believe that our fate lies in the wisdom and power of nature. A nature whose extraordinary creativity is manifest in the songs of the birds, the flowers in bloom, the changing of the seasons, and the unknowableness of our of war to all but humankind. These gifts are ours to hear, to heed, to see, to smell, to contemplate, to embrace. Time is nature's most precious tool, though nature appears to turn the hands of change slowly. I do believe changes will evolve. The gene pool will re-nourish. Genes of selfishness, of aggression, of intolerance will be blessedly filtered out. Let us pray that there exists a forest filled with nature's children whose new gene seeding has begun.